We are back here in Columbus. I'm Sports 18's Bree Shackleford, joined by Kelly Hallinan. It is round two of March Madness for us, mm -hmm. but it is round one for the Purdue men's basketball team, who's taking on Fairley Dickinson, which is a lower-seeded team, which Purdue hasn't had quite the best luck with these past two years. Now, what can we expect from this Fairley Dickinson team as they take to the court? The first thing to know about FTU is that they're a 16 seed. They have nothing to lose. They are happy to be here, and they're going to battle against Purdue. We know Purdue doesn't have the best of luck if you think back to North Texas, St. Peter's. But one thing about Fairleigh Dickinson is that they're the shortest team in the NCAA tournament. Their tallest guy is 6'6". So it's going to be really interesting to see how they play against Purdue, having a guy 7'4", Zach Eady. They might have to pull him out to the perimeter a little bit. He might have to play some defense where maybe he's not so comfortable, but he also might be able to dominate in the post. So we'll see how they can guard him. Yeah, well, the Purdue men's basketball team is just very excited to also play. We spoke with players ahead of the matchup, and here's what they had to say. So they're definitely a smaller team, so they're quick. Um, I mean, they're actually more athletic than I thought they'd be. Um, they're going to be a tough matchup, so we'll have to just figure it out and kind of just play our game. Just having Z, trying to figure it out. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a struggle for us on the defensive end, but on the offensive end, it helps. So if we try to get it in uh, transition, they're pressing, just try to get out the floor and quick to him, so it makes it easier on him. You know, they're a really good team. I think they, they got good, really good guard play. Um, and Roberts and Singleton, I think they can really fill it up. Al Menor, he's also a really good shooter at the 4-5 position. Um, they also like to pick up, you know, full court after made baskets and stuff like that and try to speed you up. They move and cut well on the offensive end, too, in their motion offense. Now, there was a viral video that has been circulating on social media ever since Fairleigh Dickinson's first win in the March Madness Tournament. And let's just say the video is as interesting as it could be, <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, definitely. So if you watched the first four games, Texas Southern took on FDU, and they showed the post-game locker room on national television. Fairleigh Dickinson's coach said, the more I watch Purdue, the more I think we could beat them. So obviously, <laughs> people picked that up. It spread all across social media. And let's see what the players' reactions were to that comment. We did see it. Um, obviously, he's got confidence in his team. If uh, he didn't, they wouldn't be here playing in this position. But uh, guy can have his own opinion, but I know we're going to be ready to go. We think they're a great team. Everybody's here for a reason. we got a lot of respect for them. Um, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. So uh, we're just going to come out and compete and play our game and you know let the chips fall where they may. Purdue is not taking this first round matchup lightly. And if you learned anything from yesterday's games, then you know that anything can happen in the month of March. Literally anything can happen. My bracket's completely trashed right now. <laughs> the only hope it has left writing is on the Purdue Boilermakers, which will take to the court very soon for an exciting game. Now, to get all the highlights from tonight's matchup and to see how players and coaches react to the game, you can catch us on News 18 at 10 and right here on News 18 at 11. Reporting from Columbus, Ohio, Bree Shackleford, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.